Hey guys, this is Music Tech Help Guy, and in this video I'm going to show you how to use a single MIDI region to route to multiple software instruments with the MIDI environment window in Logic Pro 10. This is something I've done when I want to layer up multiple software instruments, but have them essentially input the same MIDI data, so the same MIDI clip. I find this helpful because I can record one MIDI clip, one MIDI recording, and have that one recording be routed to and sound through multiple uh, software instruments simultaneously. So let's listen to this and you'll see what I'm talking about. Now the uh, drums are not part of the uh, the group of instruments that I'm trying to layer together. It's these four tracks that are here. There's an electric piano, electric buzz, cyber cut, and trance lead. Um, but all four of those software instruments are being triggered by this one MIDI clip up here. So if you don't do it this way with the, the environment window, um, what you'd normally do is just have the each, you know, have a duplicate of that clip on each one of these tracks, which is fine if you prefer to do it that way. But um, what if you're trying to record up here and just record one track and sort of figure out what you want to do um, with these four instruments on the fly? Then it means you have to record one track and then duplicate it four times or more times if you're using more instruments than I am um, to achieve the same uh, the same goal. So there's a couple things I want to mention before I show you how to do this. There are actually multiple ways to achieve this. You can do it with aux tracks, you can do it with aliases as well, or you can just simply do it the way I, I said before, just copy and paste down the clips. But this is just the way I prefer to do it. So if you find this useful for your workflow, awesome. If not, don't use it. It's just one of several ways to do this. Also, this is not the same thing as multi-timbral instruments. That's something similar, but not exactly the same as this. All right, so let me get into this and I'll show you how I did this. All right, so off screen, I undid all the routing that I had up there before. I also deleted that top track up there. So we basically just have our four software instrument tracks. One of them is an electric piano that's sort of arpeggiating and panned over to the left. The second one down is a sort of like an electric buzz sound panned over to the right that's also arpeggiated. The third instrument, Cyber Cut, is sort of just like a synth pad. And then the last instrument uh, that says Trance Lead is sort of like a bass monophonic instrument, so it's only playing one note from each chord as opposed to the whole chord. I have it, uh, uh, the tremolo effect on it that's creating that pulsing effect. So I've got these four different instruments and four different tones that I want to experiment with and almost work with them like they're all one instrument working together as opposed to four different instruments. Um, so the way I'm going to do this is we're going to first pull up the MIDI environment window. So you go up to window and then go down to open MIDI environment or you can just press command zero. I highly recommend that you make some space on your screen just as a dedicated space for the MIDI environment because if you don't, um, you'll end up with something like this where you've got this the basically the lot the main logic window maximized. You hit Command Zero to pull up the MIDI environment, then you click on Logic and the MIDI environment disappears. So I typically just will set aside some of the screen um, for it. So. We're going to do that, and the next thing we're going to do is we're going to identify these four tracks in the MIDI environment. Now, the main view of the MIDI environment that usually pops up, or the main layer that pops up, is the mixer. So make sure that the layer is on the mixer layer and not anything else. Then we can find our four tracks in the MIDI environment's mixer, so our electric piano, electric buzz, and so forth and so on. And we're going to create a MIDI object, an environment window object, by clicking the New button up here and we're going to create a monitor. Now, the MIDI monitor is the basically the simplest of the MIDI environment objects. All it does is basically any MIDI information you route into it, it'll display that MIDI information. So it, it'll display the type of message, velocity, channel information, all that good stuff. It doesn't actually process anything. It just monitors the MIDI information. But one of the cool things we can do with the monitor is we can also kind of use it as a line splitter, uh, like a MIDI line splitter. So if you grab this little triangle here, this little output from it, you can drag that up to our first 
uh, software instrument track, the electric piano. And then you'll see it creates another output. So let's grab the second one and pull it over to the electric buzz. Grab the third one, pull it over to cyber cut, and the fourth one, and pull it over to trans lead. Now what we need to do is we need to move the MIDI, MIDI monitor out into the arrange window to create a dedicated track for it. Because right now the MIDI, MIDI information is just on the, electri uh, on the electronic piano track. So the way you do this is you drag the MIDI object below your lowest track in the arrange window and it'll ask you, do you want to create a new track for the environment object? And we just hit create. And so it creates a monitor object out here, a monitor track for us. So we'll move this up to the top. And you can call this anything you want. You don't have to call it monitor because we're not using it as a monitor. I'm just going to call it uh, MIDI clips. And we can pull our MIDI region or MIDI clip up there. And this clip will be routed through the monitor to all four of our software instruments now. So let's, let's see if that worked. Cool, so it worked. Um, so the other advantage to doing it this way is that we can now record and play anything we want on this MIDI clips uh, monitor track up here. You can arm it for recording, and anything I play on my MIDI keyboard will be translated down to all four of these synthesizers. So if I'm just dinking around on my MIDI keyboard, And if I want to record this in real time, I can. I just have to um, hit R to record, and I can record whatever MIDI data I want on the MIDI clips track, and it's automatically going to route all of that MIDI da data down to our other four um, our other other four instruments. So that's the reason why I like to do it this way. Like I said before, there's other ways to do this with aux tracks, and some you know there's some other ways to do it as well. But I find this way the most useful. So now that we've got the routing all set up, we all we have to do is basically just close out the environment window. The routing will stay uh, where it's at, and then we can just, you know, repeat, hit Command R to repeat the MIDI clip track as many times as we want. So another advantage of doing things this way is that if you want to edit the chords or edit the material in your MIDI uh, regions, you only have to do it once. If we copied this down to all four of these tracks and I want to change one of them and have it actually change all of them, I'd have to alter that clip and then copy down uh, the edited clip. Here, I can just change one note if I want to and it'll actually affect the MIDI data that's going to all four of these instruments. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Hopefully it was helpful. It's uh, again, it's a little trick that I use. It's like I said, there's other ways to do it. If you find other ways to do it more useful for you and your workflow, great. If you found it useful, awesome. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video and thanks for watching.